Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about estimating with multiplication. Now, with estimating, you are going to generally round, then solve. I see some people try to solve, then round, and creating more work for yourself. The whole purpose of estimation is to make it easier for you to solve. Something simple, something that you can almost do mentally in your head if you know your multiples, of course. So you're gonna to try to go through this and try to find a faster answer. So what does this look like when we're estimating with multiplication? So we're just gonna do some regular rounding and multiply. So let's say we have 457 times six. What am I going to round to? Um, well, when we round with multiplication, the thing is you are going to round to the largest one. Unlike addition where you make round to the same digit, here we're gonna round each of them to the largest one they have. So this one is going to round to the hundreds place since that's the largest. So is 457 closer to 400 or is it closer to 500? If you're looking at a number line, is it closer to 400 or 500? Well, of course, it's closer to 500. It's past that midpoint of 450. So we are going to round this to 500. And six, well, there's we don't need to round that. That's a single digit. So we're not going to round that one. So now we just have four, 500 times six instead of 457 times six. Now the way this works, remember, if we have two zeros in our factors, our answer is gonna start in the hundreds place. So we're gonna have two zeros in our product. And five times six is 30. So our answer is about 3,000. So that is how we can estimate with multiplication. But let's say we have a three digit by two digit number. What is that gonna look like? So let's look at this. Let's take 782 times, uh, let's say 72, there we go. So let's round again to the largest place value of each of the factors. So this one goes again to the hundreds place. Since that goes to the hundreds place, we're gonna round that to the hundreds place and we'll say, is this closer to 700 or is it closer to 800? If we're looking at a number line again, it's going to be closer to 800 because it is past 750, past that midpoint on a number line. Now this one, we can't, we aren't going to round to the hundreds place. We are going to round to the tens place. The largest digit is in the tens place. So is 72, is it closer to 70 or is it closer to 80? Well, this one is less than 75, which is halfway between 70 and 80. So we're going to round this one down to 70. And now we can multiply. Now this is where it gets interesting. How many digits, how many digits are zero in our factors? We have one, two, three. So we're gonna have three zeros in our product. And seven times eight, if you don't recall, you can again, write your multiples all the way down the side. But seven times eight is 56. So that goes here. And so 782 times 72 is about 56,000. So this is a good way to solve this. Now we're gonna do one more, and you're gonna try this on your own. So let's try. Let's have, let's say, 899 times 21. I want you to pause. I want you to round and solve this one on your own. Okay, hopefully you've paused and we're ready to move on. All right, so we're gonna round this one again to the largest place value of each factor. The largest place value here is 800. So is 899 closer to 800 or 900? Well, it's one away from 900, so it's very close to 900. And 21, is 21 closer to 20 
or is it closer to 30? Well, it's closer to 20 because it's very close to 20. All right, so now we can multiply. How many zeros do I have in my factors? Three. So I'm gonna have three zeros in my product. Two times nine is 18. So 899 times 21 is about 18,000. So again, estimation is about getting a quick answer, not having to create an extra step. So we have a couple we want you to decide on your own. So let's try on your own. Let's try 258 times 27. And then also try 359 times 45. All right, you got it.